Hello, welcome to another two minute topics on your YouTube channel, Tech Talk with Niket. In this video, we are going to look at what is attribute or ETTR function in Tableau. Let's look at a simple yet powerful example. You are working on government data and want to identify how many citizens have more than one social security number or a local example, more than one unique ID or Aadhaar card. You can perform this when you use attribute. When the attribute function is used, the field becomes dependent on the level of aggregation of another dimension. The field no longer exists as an independent value and is now wrapped in an aggregation and turned into a measure. In other words, attribute is a test for heterogeneity across the rows in the result set. If I have to show it in form of a rough calculation, this is how it will be. If the expression is null, you're going to get the output as null. Else if the minimum of the value is equal to maximum of the expression and is true, we will get the output as the expression. But if it is not true, we'll get the output as asterisk. The ATTR function or attribute function works if there is only one value for each row of the dimension on which the ATTR field is dependent. Let's see how we can do it in Tableau. Here is a sample data that we will use to perform attribute function. You can pause this video to understand the data. Over here in Tableau, I have created a simple text table using the same data. You can observe over here for fingerprint ID 3, we have more than one UID. So if I will convert this UID into an attribute, I'm getting asterisk over here. You can also observe for UID ending with 5812, we have more than one fingerprint ID. What do you think what will happen when we will convert fingerprint ID into attribute? Tableau converts it into a continuous value. Let me change it and make it a discrete so that we can understand it better. And there we go. We are getting an asterisk symbol over here for fingerprint ID for the UID ending with 5812. The attribute function will not work in the same manner as other aggregations such as min, max or sum. Also, ATTR cannot be used as a sorting dimension in a cross tab. So we can use the ATTR to solve this problem. I hope you like this video. Please mention in the comment section how you have used ATTR in your data. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Till then, stay safe and happy learning. Thank you.